This is our new RCP track. This is a modular foam RC mini track. And today we're gonna have a ton of fun because we have Kyosho RC cars, first time ever having this brand on our channel. And we're gonna test out our track, test out this brand of RC cars and just have fun. This is so easy, it kind of blew my mind. This is going back to like the preschool days of the little like foam puzzle letters, if you guys remember those. And all you have to do is line it up and it just clicks into place. It is completely modular. So right now, Nate and I have our track set up with two pieces side by side, but we could actually trim this down and take off this outside ledge and make this even smaller of a course. This is also modular, so we have other pieces that we can make this not just oval, but we could add an extra curve into it. And they have even bigger setups where you could have like a huge race with multiple people. The range of pieces that this comes with varies tremendously. So you can get it as simple as an oval or as complicated as like a crazy track. It's so cool. I, I'm so excited that we finally have something like this in our collection. RCP tracks, we'll have it linked down in the description box. We picked ours up at SoCal Hobbies. If you click that link, it helps support us without costing you any extra. So let's unbox our new cars. This one's actually Nate's and this one's mine. So first try with setting up this RC track, it took us about 40 minutes, but that was with a learning curve. That was the first time. And now I'm pretty confident that we can set this up in like under 20 minutes, no problem. Now you will see throughout the track, I did not put all the caps in. I just didn't think it was necessary. It didn't bother me with the holes and the way it looks, but that would have added another like five or 10 minutes onto the build just to screw all those in. I just didn't think it was necessary, but the quality of the track is so nice. Pit Crew Nate came to join us. And if you don't follow us on any of our other social medias, you definitely need to go check those out. Instagram, TikTok, where else are we? I forget. Everywhere. <laughs> There's a lot. a lot. You saw our quick build and a lot of people were wondering what these cords were because we had them strung across the track. They're just cords for our lights, you guys. That was it. <laughs> Nothing special. No timing system is going on here today, but I'm sure you could add that I think later. They, I think they do sell a timing system for the setup. Right. These are like $160 RC cars and it has been a while since we've had any cars of this size and we are very surprised to find out they run on AAA batteries. That's pretty wild. Of course, I picked out yellow because Amelia, my daughter, loves yellow. And it reminds me of my old red Honda Civic. Who remembers my red Honda Civic? Let us know in the comments. All right, Abby's car has the batteries installed and the body on it. And when it's all set up like that, it looks really good. You can buy light kits, upgraded tires, and we have all that stuff with us. We're gonna run them stock like we always do. Everything is always stock on our channel. I want you guys to note this video is more about the track, I think, because the track is very high quality and it's extremely impressive. And in my opinion, it's less about the cars. Now we need a good car that can run on this size track and this is a great size car. So that's probably where it's at. But I have to be honest, as far as my first impressions go with this Kyosho car, Kyosho is an expensive brand. This is an expensive small car and they look great and I'm sure they're licensed. But when you get down to the guts of the car, it really does just feel to me like a small, cheap Walmart car. It's triple A's on both sides and I'm not impressed by that. We have rear shocks, but it's just a pivoting, single cantilever spring kind of thing with a big brushed motor in the back and this exposed gear over here. I'm unimpressed by the car's guts themselves, but maybe I'll change my mind when they're running. This is just my first impression. And you know us, we're always honest about everything on our channel. The track though, amazing. I can't believe it's been 10 years on YouTube and it's our first time doing something like this. Let's do a test lap. Okay, <laughs> so let's just both run it. Or that feels good. A few test laps. Hey, now. Uh, that was not on purpose. You're disqualified. I feel like this is good. Mine has a slight left trim thing going. No, stop hitting me. I'm not even meaning Look to. Look at me. I'm just cruising. Mine looks good. I think mine they looks both look good. Win. I will say these cars look good. I like driving it slow. They feel look, like they feel like the appropriate speed for this track. I'm liking this. That. You never yeah. should have given me a practice run. We'll do our best to not hit each other. Okay, all right. Hey, is, I'm not even trying. Come not even on. Trying. Not even trying. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go. All right, I win. Ah. Yeah, I definitely one lap. Ah. Oh my gosh. What? There, I've lapped you on a three lap race and I just won. This is fun though, Abby. I was. Come on, I gotta practice. 
practice some more. <laughs> this is actually fun. I okay. always choke at races. You do. Always. You keep practicing. I'll stay over here in pit lane. This is the best two out of three. That's what we're doing? Best two out of three. <laughs> okay, this is it then. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go! I feel like you're just oh, setting nice. up faster. You just wiped me out. Come yeah. on. This okay, isn't we'll fair. Whatever, whatever. Reset. Stop hitting me. I was calling for the white flag. Or Get the out of my way. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Money mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> oh, you did. And I started to Oh, no. You might actually win. How many you, laps you, you got one more lap. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. You won. I got to do All right. Let's go one more time. Like you said, that's two out of three. Pressure's on. So, like, before we finish, I'm really enjoying this. I feel like they're the perfect speed for this track and they have really good control on this foam surface. Oh, and did we mention if you flip these the other side, it's like a more rough surface. Yeah. So you have two different surface types with this too, which is really cool. And the other tires can make these like drift cars where right now they're more like street cars. I like, so, them like street cars. Although I was slightly unimpressed with the car itself, now in this scale, it's like it's just really perfect. Cool. It's perfect. Yes, so, I want to get like Two more at least. I think there's enough room for four oh, total you can do four. on this side. It'd be, and you, you trade paint a lot. Yeah. I'm ready. Right. This is pretty good. Well, Watch the road hazard. Yeah, the tripod is <laughs> not on our track right now, so okay. that'll be fun. Very good. On your mark. Get set. Go. Not holding back. Oh, I took the inside. Oh, no, oh, I hit the wall. It's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. Oh, I took that too. Too hard. This is perfect. I got it. This is so cool. Let's just keep going. I definitely won. Oh, I need but to I mean, This is awesome, isn't it? It really is. This is good. So the track itself is amazing. And if these cars were in any other world situation, um, like just on the street or just trying to drive it through the house or whatever, I'd say, yeah, okay, I'm not impressed with the cars. They do feel a little bit dated. But putting these cars on this track, I just slapped you again, and you hit the wall. Putting these cars on this track feels like a match made in heaven, and they were not made for this specifically. Are you seriously going? You're so funny. I used to do this in NASCAR on PlayStation, the one with paintball mode. Yeah, I know. We're playing chicken real bad here. This is not good. We are going to trade paint. I'm trying to take the outside. I really like this, and I would like to expand the track. I'd like to get. I, I want to yeah, give you chicken. Want to give chicken. <laughs> you just bailed. These are so perfect. The only way they could be better is if they had truly rechargeable batteries and not AAA batteries running the cars. Not a big fan of that. What I picture in, in a perfect world is maybe you got like a garage space, maybe you have a, a furniture you can move around and set this track up. I'm telling you, it is really fun. But what I really, what I really picture is we were at a mall not too long ago, like a dying mall, like I pretty much all are. And I saw Traxxas Dragsters in there. Like, it was a club, and uh, it was cool, but they had a ton of unused space. Yes. And I picture a club to buy a track, or to buy the biggest version of the track, or one, and keep expanding if you like it. Yeah. And you could take this into an indoor club event like that and just have a blast with it. If you're looking at this and you think, Wow, over three, almost four hundred dollars. I can't remember the exact price because mm, I it's not it bad. It. It's not bad. Um, go look at these specific fancy baby mat rugs that are like this, They're and they double. are double, if not triple, the I'm, price. I'm actually impressed. So oh. I think this is a great value for what you're getting because you're not just getting the rug; you're getting all these interior pieces. You're getting these the rounded walls. corner pieces. Yeah. Plus ours has a whole nother whole section. We didn't have. And if we had enough space. room, it could have gone this way. Yeah. So we could have had like a picture like a P shape. Yeah. It would have been like a shape mm -hmm. of That's a That's the one we got. And, uh, but we had to downsize it just for this space. Yeah. This is fun. It, it's the track I knew I'd be impressed with. These were questionable, but now that I drove them on the track, mm -hmm. I feel like they're actually perfect for yeah. this track. I'm really happy we have these and they look yeah. really cool on the body. I, but I don't think I'd buy these without the track. No. I think I would want more of these cars for this, track. for this track. Yeah, and if you guys know of any other cars that are kind of like this, this size, that this you want to see on our channel, Comment down below and we'll try to get them on the channel. This will be linked in the description box below. It actually, the, the track is amazing and it gets our approval. The cars, again, questionable, but they would be perfect for this track. And using that link, I think Abby said it in the beginning of this video, does help to support our channel and our family. So uh, with no extra cost to you, we get a little kickback if you use that link. 
And these are actually coming out of... Look at this reverse skill driving. Aren't they? Are these coming out of California? Is that right? Yes. That's what I thought. So that's pretty cool. And uh, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> I want to thank God for just uh, this opportunity to share this experience. Guys, we've had such bad weather lately. You would, you would think winter flying would be worse, but I think spring flying and, yes. and being... We can't do anything outside right now just because of the wind and the rain which is why we're glad to do this video here. And we're gonna leave this track set up and play this with the kids, right? right. This, is, this is good. So I thank God for the opportunity to do this when we can't get outside to uh, have outdoor RC fun with mm -hmm. you guys. And a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters for everything you do for us. We couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. If you're into RC cars, we've got just hundreds and probably thousands of videos on our channel, but we'll have one of our favorites popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you then. Ah!